No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com/360. And My Road Real, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over five hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes. Hey, it's Diesel from No Film School, and we're here with Richard from Zeiss. He's going to tell us about their new product for this year. Yeah, so at the uh, NAB 2017, we announced the third generation of the Compact Primes, called the CP.3. We have two versions of the CP.3. I'm holding in my hand uh, two 35 millimeter lenses. Uh, difference one being this metadata enabled, and the other is not. So the CP.3, the one here, is is actually the you know the standard replacement for CP.2s. It's about $400 more per lens. Mechanically, it's a much different lens. Uh, smaller, more compact. 95 millimeter front diameter versus 114 on the Compact Primes. A little smaller, a little lighter. Uh, the focus rotation, buttery smooth. We wanted to make sure that from focal length to focal length that the focus torque, or the resistance, is the same. It's consistent. Especially important for lens motors. Right. So, okay. And we also want to make sure that that focus was temperature stable. And that if you went out into a cold environment, uh, you know, the focus didn't get you know, too stiff on you. On this particular lens, we're using the Cook Eye protocol. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a couple different things here. So, uh, Cook Eye, the basic protocol is you know the lens manufacturer, the focal length of the lens, um, and then uh, in each individual frame, we're capturing the focus distance and t-stop. So the nice thing is is that you can always go back, understand you know what you've shot, a day later, a week later, a month later, whatever. You always know what lens you use, what the focus distance and t-stop. Oh, that's awesome. See so if I had to go back and recreate the scene, you know you didn't need an assistant there making copious notes. What we're adding to this is what we call XD, or Zeiss Extended Data. So we're actually including lens profiles as part of the metadata flow. And so what we're going to do with that, um, that kind of uh, extended data information is correct for vignetting and lens distortion. So you'll be able to provide those corrections in real time on a director's monitor and also apply those changes in post. Okay. Now we're capturing metadata two different ways. So if the camera's um, iCook enabled, like the new Blackmagic or some Mini Pro or the, some of the red cameras, uh, it's just plug and play. Pop it on, you have direct communication through the four pin port. Awesome. But like CP2s, this is also has an interchangeable lens mount. Okay. I can pop this mount on it and put four other mount types. I'm still capturing metadata, but I'm going to do it through this external port. So regardless of the camera, regardless of whether or not it's uh, iCook enabled, we're still capturing that metadata. So from a workflow standpoint, we think that there's going to be a lot of time savings. Okay, and so when are these available? So the standard version, the first five lenses will begin shipping in June. Okay. 21, 25, 35, 50, 85. Uh, the next five lenses, it's a 10 lens set, 15 millimeter to 135. They'll start shipping July to October. October, the last lens will come out. So the okay. full 10 sets, or 10 lenses in the set, available October. Uh, the CP3 XD will start shipping nine lenses September. Uh, the 10th lens will ship October. Okay, and the price points for each? Price point on this one runs about 4300 for the core lens. A little bit more for the ultra wide, the 15 and the 135. This lens is gonna start uh, in the mid sixes. About $1,400 awesome. more than this lens. Okay, great, thank you Good. very much. My pleasure, thanks.